Good morning. Getting the Starbucks right before 7 a.m. A good start. Um, before I got this this Uber here, I got this DoorDash that you know got me out of bed, got me getting dressed, got me getting ready to go. And then the Uber came in, and I was like, man, that's a better order because. Yeah, the DoorDash only says four and a half miles, but unless I got another order, I'm driving back home after I do that. Because I'm not waiting around at seven in the morning for more orders. So, uh, yeah, this order, it's more miles, but it ends like less than a half a mile from my house. So I'll make 17 bucks and drive right about the same amount of miles I was going to drive to make that 10 bucks. So, better order. I got this DoorDash fucking. They want this uh, $10 pint of ice cream. Man, these people are luxurious. Like, this person got one, one entree. And then a $10 pint of ice cream for themselves. Like, how are you spending like 50, 60 bucks on breakfast, yo? People are crazy. But this, this order is going to put me at almost 40 bucks in two orders. So, I'm about it. Alright, just got that, uh, the luxury breakfast of ice cream and IHOP dropped off. Um... Some that that order seemed like it should have taken a little longer. I did it 28 minutes, you know, leaving my house, going to the grocery store, going to IHOP, and then driving all the way out to drop it off. 30 minutes for 22.75. That's not bad at all. And I already have an Instacart in the queue, which is like eight items for 11 bucks. The reason I did it is because, like, I already have to go past the grocery store, and this order is going right towards my house. So why not pick up the 11 bucks, you know, and not have to drive around. Who knows where. All right, so I was just looking at the breakdown of that last DoorDash, and like, one of those paid me eight dollars in base pay, and the other one paid me four seventy-five. So like, they definitely sent that order to a bunch of other people, and no one accepted it. So, DoorDash suggesting people to you know order from two different restaurants, at least in this scenario, cost DoorDash a lot of extra money because you know eight dollar base pay is a hell of a lot higher than a two dollar base pay all right i don't know why this person doesn't just get boxes of cereal but anyway uh this took me about four minutes i just gotta go check it out drop it off google you need to fix your shit freaking uh they sent me down the wrong road it's funny this road's called ferrera drive and the person's address is clearly Wickle Drive. And for whatever reason, it's like one street over. Google takes you down the wrong street. The customer has it like listed in their description notes. So luckily when I pulled up to the house number, I realized this isn't the right street. Because it also said it was a yellow house, so the house wasn't yellow. just finished that second instacart i had to refund like five six, more items than i'm happy about so depending on how much this or how this person tipped i could i could potentially lose more than five dollars on this order i mean it'll still be a good order but it's bull crap is what it is but at least this order is going to be like two two miles less than what they said because i can cut through the neighborhood 
where they had me kind of going around the neighborhood so i'm gonna save a couple miles cutting through the neighborhood but uh i mean the miles the money on this is great i don't know why i'm even talking about that 13 miles for 40 bucks like i think it was more it's like 44 bucks and this order definitely what so the first store took me six minutes of shopping so i was probably in that first store for 10 let's say 15 minutes and then this last one definitely took me every minute a bit of 45 minutes and then probably 15 to 30 minutes of drop off all right but looking at this order instacart is ridiculous this the okay so the first order i did is the one that's right next to the food line like i almost had to go past this drop off to get to the giant so i had this person's food sitting in my car for 30 minutes when i could have just dropped it off and then shopped the second one like the instacart app is the worst like when you got a refund an item sometimes you end up having to click through like 10 different screens to get to where it says refund item i, I, I don't understand why they do that i mean i get it like some people probably would just refund because it's easier but like i'm only refunding because that's the only option i have that's like what the customer said or i can't get a hold of the customer like in instacart has too many too many times you got to click click on a screen that does nothing like when you're uploading the receipt it takes like fuck it takes like eight screens just to get to the navigation and it's all stuff that i don't need to see every single order i do like yeah the first couple orders that's good information but when i've seen it hundreds of times i don't i don't need that but yeah, I'm on one today. I'm drinking my coffee. I'm getting my rants out. Uh, like, it's nice out. It's only 50 degrees. So, you know, having food, sit in the car, 30 minutes, not that big of a deal. But when it gets to be 100 degrees out and it's above 100 degrees in my car, like somebody's got ice cream, they're going to have me go shop at one store and then go shop at another store while food sits in the car for 30 minutes. Like, these companies, man, they get every nickel and dime you can who cares if we pissed off our customers all right i dropped that instacart off uh they ended up shorting me like almost four bucks so whatever it's still 38 bucks and i think that one probably took me an hour let me look all right so 38 bucks and i'm actually at about an hour and 20 minutes like i spent a lot of time texting that customer that i got tipped a lot less i that like instacart's I understand why the tipping is the way it is because anywhere you go, you know, you're they they give you an option to tip a percentage, right? But the thing is like when you go to a restaurant, like the waiter isn't like oh, they ordered crab soup, but we're out of crab soup today, so now I make less money. I mean, maybe they do think that way. I don't know. I've never been a waiter. But I'm just saying that Instacart shows me how much money I'm going to get paid for this order before I do it. And then when I have to take, you know, cause if they have all the items and I can just go pick them all up and I get paid the amount, that's easy, right? But when it's not, when they don't have the items and I have to text the customer and then I, I'm waiting five minutes for them to text me back. And then when they text me back, I'm on the other side of the grocery store. So I run over to the other side of the grocery store so I can get them the item they want or refund them. You know, like it's a lot of extra work and then I get paid less. Like the Instacart needs to change some stuff. They really do. I know I'm new, so they, this is probably just how it's been forever, and I'm probably preaching to the choir, but it's very frustrating getting paid less when you have to do more work. All right, this is probably gonna end my morning shift. Got new faces in Duncan. And they're doing pretty good so far. The two new people are killing it that I've seen. Alright, I just got this Mama Roma's, this dude right here, and this Camry. I bet he's a top dasher, because he had a Dunkin' order and Mama Roma's. And I, I don't know, unless he lives around here, but I ain't never seen him before. What's he doing? He's, he's trying to take my business. Another mama roll must. All right, 
so while I was going in to pick up that Uber, there's a uh, this like older black dude in the parking lot, and he's just start yelling like super aggressive. I don't, I didn't see what happened. So the dude might have ran, almost ran him over. But anyway, he's like standing outside of his car, like yelling at him, and the dude's not rolling down his window. But then like he starts talking to him, and then I walked inside because. I'm not just gonna stand there and watch. Even though I wanted to just stand there and watch, it was interesting. Oh my gosh. Almost tripped. All right, I just did this uh, DoorDash shop and pay for six bucks, but it was literally just go get CVS brand Tylenol. So it took me like 30 seconds to get it. And right after I got this, this is my little filler order. It worked out perfect. This goes right over towards the shopping center where I got this Uber Eats stack that is uh 21 bucks for outback and uh uh oh applebee's gotta go to both them restaurants and then uh the dr and drop off is in the military base which is a meh but i want to make that 21 bucks so i'm doing it all right i made an executive decision that uh the what you call it the doordash no no these are the ubers the two ubers i gotta pick up it's better to go to outback and go to applebee's and then drop off the tylenol for the doordash i don't think i'll be late i didn't think about that part uh oh so i got the applebee's and i'm like two feet away from dropping off the six dollar shop and pay and uh i think this applebee's is gonna have bonus pay on it I think it's the one that is in the military base, so. Now, what do y'all think a $6 shop and pay was? No tip. So I got, I went and got someone medicine so they could get rid of their headache, but they gave me a headache by not giving me a tip. Unforgivable. All right, I got my girl, my, my girl, my girl Bonnie, her Outback Steakhouse. I wish this is the only delivery I had to do because this is right next to my house. But now I'm going to the military base. All right, this order is actually a score because the address just said Fort Meade, which is what the base is. But some of the neighborhoods across the street are also called Fort Meade. So I don't have to deal with going on base. I mean, I'm still going to the same part of the map, but it's a little better. All right, so I was just looking. Oh, I can't see. The sun is in my eyes. Uh, Bonnie, um, her order was $10.57. So, there's a good chance that there could be a hidden tip on both of these orders. Hello. Got it? Yep. All right. Thank you. Yep, have a good one. You too, man. All right, so that Uber order also completed a quest. Another three dollars added to it. I never even I, I like forget to look at them on the weekend, but they're always there. So good order, even better. Made almost. Well, who knows? I think there's gonna be hidden tip, but we'll see. Well, you'll know because the editing, but I don't know right now. Man, I got another Mama Romas, but. There was another top dasher in there getting two orders i can't even remember the last time it's been a while since i had a stack on doordash oh well i had to refund quite a few things All right, so that last Instacart customer sucked. They had ordered 145 times, and I shop. it took me 20 minutes to shop the whole thing, and they didn't respond to me until I was almost done shopping, and then they said, you can just refund anything that they don't have, which, you know, if you tell me that from the get-go, I can shop a lot faster than trying to find replacements and stuff. Like, Then they live in the most complicated apartment building, 
and they left no instructions on drop off. And then when I get there, I have to call them. And then they're like, yeah, can you look up this name on the call box? Like, come on people, man, you can put this stuff in the app so I don't have to waste time calling you. Like they, they've delivered 145 times. They gotta know they can do this. All right, that might do it for the night, day, whatever. I did take a bike ride and I did a bunch of cleaning and stuff around the house, so it's a good day. Almost 200, like 195 bucks. I might do another one if a good one comes in. Just got that Mickey D's. This is a sweet order. I thought I was done, but I'm not done yet. All right, I just dropped off at McDonald's. Uh, my girl Desiree. She left. A, I already know she left a good tip. She met me at the door when I got there. She was ready to go awesome then i got this freaking 7-eleven for 13 bucks for four miles what yes it's always a good 7-eleven order when there's no slurpees all right so that order just went from cool to not so cool because now i see the uh drop off is that same apartment building i was complaining about with that instacart where the person didn't give me the information but this person did give me the information so it's just a little bit more walking than I'm interested in doing right now but 13 bucks it might oh I got a dollar quest on that last one I think so that and that one was 1050 so it might even be hidden tip that one earlier was ten dollars more the one that was a twenty one dollar that I did earlier tonight so uber they had them tips a lot so somebody let me in so this is pretty good just gotta walk around and figure out where to go six floor happened again nine dollars three miles good money <clears throat> all right so i'm back at the casa i don't remember if i made an outro or not if i did then i did but yeah I, i'm done for the night i'm in here editing some videos i made like 2 30 but <clears throat> doordash sent me the weirdest order it was, I mean, first of all, it was only for $3. They sent it to me twice. First, it was $3, then it was like three twenty-five dollars or something. But anyway, it said to pick up a Bonchon. But when I zoomed in on the map, like, I wasn't anywhere near Bonchon. And it was showing to pick up at this church. So unless the church had a pop-up Bonchon doing DoorDash delivery, it's the weirdest glitch I've ever seen.